The occasion featured the commissioning of three laboratories for both chemistry, physics, and biology by the managing director of NDIC, Umar Ibrahim. There was the commissioning of an electronic library by Mansour Ahmed of Dangote Foundation. The proprietor and chairman governing board of the school, Dr. Arun Adamu, lamented the roots in the education sector and tax government to revive the sector. They also stressed the need for emphasis on science and technology to first track the nation's development. It's unfortunate that uh, governments do not uh, look at uh, some of these areas. Uh, if uh, government were able to support uh, some of the uh, new inventions, students, that these children they may not have any job after graduating from the university. So what should they do if they have something to do, if they have learned a vocation, if they have learned some, even if it's welding, if it's carpentry. Speaking of the occasion, the group executive director of Dangote Foundation, Mansur Ahmed, and the managing director of Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, Umar Ibrahim, said entrepreneurial education is the best way of addressing the unemployment problem in the country. But also the federal government has a responsibility because education is one of the most fundamental rights of all citizens. And the government at all and governments at all levels have a responsibility to see to that rights. It's just like food and, and, and shelter. Uh, the government has a responsibility to provide every opportunity for Nigerian citizens to gain education. The best thing is for all schools, at, particularly at the uh, secondary school level, university level, colleges and so on, is to introduce entrepreneurship uh, training so that people can be trained to use their brains and hands you know, to create jobs for themselves and for others and not just to rely on paid jobs either by the private sector or the government. There was also confirmation of an award to some distinguished Nigerians and some of the students who distinguished themselves in various fields of study. The graduating students were tasked to ensure they remain good ambassadors of the academy. Kemi Olorunfemi, Liberty News.